Marriage, ultimately, is the practice of becoming passionate friends, and you both have known each other for a long time. I was surprised to learn that you both met each other back in sixth grade. I was told your first kiss was in seventh grade at the Macer family home. which brought up supervision issues that I'll talk to your parents about after. Seems I'm not cool with that. Uh, it should also be remembered that seventh grade was also when Mark and Ashley were nominated for the prestigious award of cutest couple. Oh my. <laughs> you look amazing. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Soon after Mark and Ashley started dating, he called me in his usual high-pitched squeal of a voice and asked me to hang out at, uh, at Ashley's family's dock. As I pulled up to the dock, Mark quickly jumped in the bow of the boat and told me to take a lap around the bay. Since he had just weirdly and abruptly left everybody on the dock, with just two of us on the boat, I thought for a moment he was going to propose to me. <laughs> but my fear subsided when his <laughs> my fear subsided when his scrawny little legs carried himself to the back of the boat, and he sat across from me. He looked me dead in the eyes and told me that he was in love with Ashley. On behalf of Mark and Ashley and their families, I'd like to thank everybody for being here today. I'm honored to be officiating the ceremony celebrating the marriage of Ashley and Mark. Ashley, you are the coolest. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how I convinced you to marry me. Maybe it was all the Paris talk and the adventures we could have together. Not sure, but I'm glad it worked. When we hung out for the first time in years, I knew that I wanted to marry you. The energy we have together is indescribable. I'll never forget flying you out to Salt Lake and riding bikes together. You may have been the worst bike rider I have ever seen in my entire life. I'm so happy with the improvements you made on the bike. Life with you is a blast. I know the start to our marriage wasn't as wonderful as it could be. We have battled multiple times as we got to know each other. I've learned quickly that feeding you is always a must. With that being said, I wouldn't change one thing because it has brought us closer than ever. Ashley, I love you. I can't wait to see you as I can't wait to see you be a mother. I never thought I would have kids and I can't wait to have them with you. Ashley, I promise to love you for the rest of our lives. I promise I will protect you and our family. I promise I will never stop telling you horrible penguin and whale jokes. I promise I will kiss you every day and tell you I love you. I promise I'll be your best friend and get you through all the obstacles in our life together. You're mine and I am here together to always be okay. I love you. <laughs> Mark, I can't promise you that our marriage will be perfect, but I can promise that I will always do my best to be the wife you deserve. It takes a strong, kind, loving man to break down these walls and allow me to feel safe and love. <laughs> and I'm glad that you are that man for me. You see me for the woman that I strive to be, and you give me the strength to become the woman that I want to be. You give me a life full of laughs, unconditional love and support, but most importantly, whale jokes. Your excitement for our future 
for the children we dream to have together. Makes me proud to now call you my husband. My crazy will forever love your crazy. And I love you. <laughs> I know that Ashley, you love Mark. I know that Mark, you love Ashley. We're here to celebrate both of you. So, Mark, go ahead and kiss your bride. Mark has been just an amazing friend to myself and my wife Mindy. And as much as I try and return the favor, you know, he always one-ups me. And he's just that type of guy. He'll he'll go the extra mile for you, even though he doesn't have to. And uh, you know, he's just an amazing friend. The last couple of months since Ashley has come into Mark's life more permanently. I have seen Mark turn from great to even greater, and she has been such a blessing in his life. It's been fun to see them together, and we're extremely excited to have another amazing friend joining our group permanently. So please join me in raising your glasses to Mark and Ashley. I mean, I just, you've been there for me for all the things that were important in the last 20 years, and we've just had so much fun together, too. Um, we've had times that we laughed together so hard we thought we were going to pee our pants, and really, we're kind of hilarious. We kind of did. But we've also seen each other through some pretty difficult times as well, and I think that um, through those difficult times, we've occasionally dealt each other with some pretty harsh truths, usually over martinis, <laughs> and we've held each other accountable um, to live the life that we should. And I think that that kind of accountability only comes from true friendship, and that's because we really just want what's very best for each other. And I can stand here and say that I think that you found what's best for you in Mark. I can see it. And um, Mark, although we've known each other for a long time as well, actually, we haven't known each other very well, but I look forward to many years of getting to know you and becoming a really good friend. Um, and I can see that happening. <laughs> um, but I'm not sure if you know this, but Ashley's talked about you for many years to me. And, um, I've known that she's loved you for many years, actually. Um, Why were you oh, <laughs> uh, hey, don't I, don't blame me. <laughs> I was rooting for you, trust me. <laughs> um, but now I can see, you know, many, many years of you guys uh, together, and um, I just really hope that it's only about two of those years that you spend convincing Ashley that she's not dying from some ailment that she looked up on WebMD. <laughs> um, but that's all I have to say on that. But, um, but I just, I love you. And I'm just so happy for you guys. <laughs>